Yeah, um, been away from the Ralph for a couple of weeks here right now, uh, a couple of road trips, and now we're back at the Ralph uh, playing against Denver and uh, an NCHC rival here in our second weekend into the uh, NCHC schedule here. So looking forward to the weekend. With that, open up for questions. Can you think back to last year on what you guys did well against them? You guys took 10 to 12. What, what did you do that allowed you to have success against them? Yeah, I think we, you know, we played a physical, hard game. Uh, our play away from the puck, I think we, we checked extremely well. You know, that's a very good offensive team over there. They have, they have a lot of depth on that side of it. And, uh, you know, I, I know we started the series in Denver. Uh, won and then went to overtime and lost in overtime and then we won both games here but you know collectively through the four games I thought we played a consistent brand of hockey special te specialty teams were a big factor uh, but our play away from the puck uh, making it a, a tight checking game and you know we always talk about checking to score like at the end of the day of, of making sure that you know earning the right to get the puck and then uh, and when you have the puck finishing play so uh, playing away from the puck and tight checking game and not giving them time and space. I know they have some different players, but what have you seen from watching them so far this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I said, I think they have depth as well in their group. Uh, you know, on the forward side of it, back end, you know, they have a goaltender, uh, Matt Davis, who uh, uh, is a very good goaltender, but he can play the puck as well. Like at the end of the day, his puck touches are really good. He's like a third defenseman back there, and, and you're going to have to make sure that, you know, the puck's not in his hands going back there. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, two very good teams that are going to play a, a high brand of NCHC hockey this weekend. What are you seeing from Jake Schmaltz early this season that you like? Yeah, just elevating his game uh, in all different regards. Uh, power play, penalty kill, five on five, uh, stronger player. Uh, you know, his resiliency and his uh, stamina and, and, you know, he's called upon a lot of things, winning face-offs, you know, playing all situations. But, um, just, just a stronger player this year, and uh, and and obviously it's 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 benefited us as a program here having him step up like that, him and Louis Jamernick actually, and uh, and he's done a great job there. So I think he felt it last year as far as you know, especially the offensive production or lack thereof, and, and what he needed to do to get stronger and better. And you know what, he's been he's been he's been really good for us so far. Yeah, usually Louis and, and Jake have been playing a, a defensive role against some top teams, but Louis is your leading scorer right now, and Jake's not super far behind. Uh, does that surprise you to see what they've produced offensively this year? Uh, I wouldn't say surprised. I think it, it goes into their character. You know, they're both seniors this year. They're leaders on our team. You know, we do have young players in our lineup, right? And I think it's a situation where these guys know that, um, you know, in order for us to have success, you have to lead from the front. and, and these these guys are taking it in their hands to to uh, show the way for our younger guys here a little bit. We always knew they have offense in their game, but I think this year in particular, knowing that we have some younger forwards in our group here, um, it's their way of saying, hey, this is how we do it, and they're, they're taking advantage of it, and then now our younger guys are going to grow into that. Is there any chance you get anyone back who was out last weekend? Uh, nope. Uh, everybody will be that was out of the lineup last weekend will not be in the lineup this weekend. Talked a little bit about Louie and Jake being leaders on this team. This whole leadership group, um, how much, how valuable are they are, are they to help the younger guys uh, get ready for a series like this, knowing how to beat Denver? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, you know, we went through a tough non-conference schedule, and we started in Duluth on the road, which is always tough too. And you know, I thought our guys did a really good job in Duluth of, of playing the right way and playing as a team, and 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 getting off to a fast start both nights um and that's going to be critical for us uh, this weekend here too but you know when you go against a rival like denver uh both teams that have had a lot of success over the past few years um this is a situation where you want your leaders to to lead the way in a lot of different things preparation of, of the week and practices uh leading up to games and then you know during the games of you know doing the right things on the ice and on the bench to to give yourself a chance for success so leadership is a big deal and and that's why like you know when you talk about jake schmall and Louis Jamernick, they do the right things and and, uh, and and they're an extension of the coaching staff. Having that momentum coming out of the Duluth series, how crucial was that to get back in the win column and pick up your first sweep of the season? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it was very instrumental, uh, you know, coming off of Cornell. And again, like in Cornell, like I thought we did play well in Cornell. You know, obviously we didn't get to get the results both nights, but I thought we did play well there to to garner more than we did uh, as far as the result. But, you know, at the end of the day, of believing of, of what we are and playing to our identity, and, and I truly believe we did that in 
in uh, in Duluth. And I think the biggest thing is getting off to a quick start. The, the, the games that we've lost this year, you know, we fell behind and we had to try to chase. And against good teams, it, it's tough to do to, to come back and win those games. It, it's trying to lead from the front and then play your game throughout the 60 minutes. And, and I think that was a big part of it. How about TJ's performance th bouncing back after the short weekend against Cornell? Yeah, you know what? I can't say enough about TJ and, and his his weekend last weekend in Duluth. And, you know, it, it's not the weekend he wanted in Cornell on Friday night there. But, you know, he, he's a proud guy. He's a, he's a competitive guy. Uh, you could tell in the games in Duluth how competitive he is on, on every, every, every puck that goes to the net and not, not stopping on it and just competing hard right to the end. But he... Uh, you know, he showed why he's a very good goaltender, you know, and I think goaltenders, you know, when you go through adversity, you, you, you really have to know what you have because of what the next outing is. His his last two outings in Duluth were outstanding, and, and, and that's what you have in a goaltender that with experience, but a guy that, uh, that, that that's a top-grade goaltender. Most players since the start of the pod to have a goal through nine games. Um, what do you? What about this group has made that happen? Uh, excuse me, can you repeat that question? Yeah. So since uh, the start of the pod, yeah. now your team has fourteen goals or fourteen different players with a goal through yeah. nine games. Yeah. Um, what is it about this group that's given you that spread that early in the season? Well, you know, I, I love that and the fact that. Um, you know, sometimes if you have one line or one player, I think it's easy to shut down. But if you have guys that can hit the score sheet, uh, you know, consistently and, and spread it out, it's a little bit tougher to for the other team to focus on. Um, you know, it's no mystery. We, we don't have Jackson Blake and we don't have Reese Gaber. Those are two very good offensive players that kind of led the way a little bit last year. Um, so we know we have to do it by committee. And, and our guys are digging in and doing it. And, and that's a big, big deal. And you know what? There's going to be guys stepping ahead that are probably going to take the, the ball and run with it a little bit more here, probably offensively. But until then, I, I'm glad the way it's spread out here a little bit because uh, that tells you that we have a little bit of depth that can, can score on the offensive side of it.